And the final topic for this episode is pros and cons to popularity in the fandom, or what people call a popufer. Now, we are definitely not popufer, but we come from the perspective of somebody who you know. nobody's trying to do something in the fandom. I've had people like joke with it. You know, I've had people come up and say, oh, you're really big. You should, why'd you watch me? You got a lot of numbers on there. Oh, no. And to me personally, it just makes me feel weird. It's like, no, I'm just a person here enjoying everything as much as anyone else. See, I I don't get the whole numbers thing because even if somebody has like 500 to 1,000 follows and they do something amazing, their numbers don't give them value. But let's say the pros of it is that people, to me, a pro of it is there's a lot of people to admire what you do. Yeah, and it's easier to get your stuff out. Like, we're trying to get commissions and build our art and build our studio, but it's hard because we're nobodies and hardly anybody knows us outside of the regulars who come to our streams. Like, me personally, I would never want to see people as numbers. It's like, that's how many people will recognize what I do. They'll enjoy what I do, or more of them that's... to eventually find that stuff. And That's have fun with what you do? not necessarily true. Why is that? I mean, yeah, you have those numbers of followers, and but maybe they don't pay attention to you, or maybe they're following so many people that you're just lost in the crowd. Okay, but the more people that do watch you, the more blow over to actually yeah. possibly go and see what you actually do. More likely to get attention and notice, but there's still, like, factors... So another pro would be that you are treated differently when you go to places publicly in furry oh, at a con yes. or something like that or meet. Yes, um, you're more recognized and you're kind of put on a higher pedestal sort of. You may get to be guest of honor and you get the whole trip free or something like that. You'll have your entourage behind you. Yeah, cons. basically. <laughs> <laughs> But that could also lead into a negative or a con of it in that the way you're treated at it, perhaps you wanted to be treated normal. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you just want to yes. go to a normal convention, a normal meet, and just have fun. Yeah, it's like that uh, one girl at PDFC who was so excited to meet you yeah. when you were just <laughs> Me waiting. being a nobody. Yeah, waiting for the owners of the badges I did for them to pick them <laughs> yeah. up and... We just see ourselves as normal people, so to have somebody get super excited over you and the those people in those lava fox. I mean, I'm I'm tiny in it. Get I excited it. to see me, and it's like we're just people. Talk yeah. to us. We're not popular or unpopular. We're just here. I think it's like through anything, somebody sees somebody in another light. They're like, mm -hmm. oh, you're big. You're a celebrity. Uh, you're more well known, so it's yeah. you're going to be larger than life to them, or something like that. Some people do like it. Some people just want to be normal people. I will always say that I just like more people to have fun with what I do. Yeah. And what we do in general here, mm -hmm. and all that. It's really not. Oh, I got more numbers than anyone else, really. For some, it is though. Yeah. Which it's... is frustrating because numbers don't make the person. It we're in the internet where a lot of things are numbers. Mm -hmm. People see numbers and they're big, and it's like, oh, this person had to have done something right. I should go and see what they're doing and like them because everybody else does. I mean, if they've earned it, then good on them. I'm yeah. glad they got what they deserve to do with what they have been doing. But it should also not change attitudes. Oh, everybody, that's a big thing. Everybody started out small. They started out with, oh, I'm going to get a suit. Oh, I'm going to start doing YouTube channels. I'm going to start tweeting. Um, I'm going to make a lot of people's lives different. Um, and then they blow up and they just become different people. It's kind of like getting a big head. You know, yeah. there's definitely, you could really imagine like, you the know, people always change. telling you that you're doing something amazing. It, it can change your head. The friends change, the personality changes, the people mm -hmm. they were friends with before they got big, they're no longer really want to talk to and you can sense it from the other side. But they have to imagine when they were first starting out that 
they may have wanted somebody that was really popular to say something to them, to be nice. Mm-hmm. And there's no reason that they should have changed it after they became one themselves. And, you know, I, I can honestly see <laughs> that you don't have time for everybody. Yeah. Okay, you're super popular. You don't have time for everybody. Uh, you can't talk to everyone. My perspective is even if you like get popular and mm. have like even more and more people talk to you and you meet more people, make more friends, you should never forget the people who are with you before you blew up. Yeah, you should always remember people that have yeah. um, enjoyed what you do, who you are before mm-hmm. things happen. But afterwards, uh, you know, I'd always thought you could be polite about it. I totally understand. I think a lot of people need to understand that there's not enough time for everybody in the world. There just isn't. So that also comes to like anybody that feels that they're being ignored or that somebody is too popular to talk to them. They should cool it a little and be like, this person still does have a life. I mean, think about it. You have to work 40 hours a week if you're Mm -hmm. in America working full time to pay the bills to maintain your place. You may have medical bills that pop up. You may have other responsibilities. You have to fix your car that take precedence over the internet and take time away from doing stuff and talking to people. And if you say have 10,000 plus followers and every single one wants to talk to you, you can't take 10 minutes to talk to somebody each 10,000 follower because then you just impossible to have the time to do but if they're well known they're also doing whatever their hobby or whatever got to them got them to that level it's like videos it's doing it's doing pictures it's doing lots of tweets they're spending that time already it's limited resources for tons and tons of people so it's there may be some that are possibly thinking they're better Mm -hmm. and ignoring but most of them probably just don't have enough time right so it could be big head it could be just they don't have the time or patience or but no matter what you feel that somebody should not change based on no if you know the person before they got big and then they got big and they changed you know them from before and then that's just wrong you have to kind of look at furry as being a very niche thing Mm -hmm. even even in fandom wise they were small we're getting bigger and everything but still Fame in the fandom is only fame in the fandom. And it's okay to have friend groups, and it's okay for the 10,000 group to hang out with the 10,000 group and above. Um, That's how friends go, and maybe it's beyond the numbers. They may see... The way that the higher numbers work is they may see them as more trustworthy. Mm. There are people that they may have met based on those numbers and they feel that they're better friends or more trustworthy Mm -hmm. just because they are more of a public image so while it is possible to get a big head with popularity maybe somebody doesn't have a big head and from the outside it may look like they do but maybe they don't so all in all like a pro would be that more exposure Mm -hmm. everybody will enjoy what you do more possibility of friendship social groups not being lonely the con of it is that people will definitely see you as somebody above them yeah that they'll may see you as snobby they may see you as looking down on them even if that may not be the case and the higher the numbers more well you're known the Mm -hmm. more likely that you may go to a con and not enjoy it beyond based on that and we all have heard stories of the weirdos at con well, you know, there's a lot of stuff. If you're popular and you have a tons of people around you, chances are you might get the weird few. Yeah, I mean, it takes all kinds, right? Yeah. <laughs> but do you honestly think it's bad or good either way? It it just is. Just what you make of it, right? Yeah. If you let it change you, well, then I'm sorry. Maybe you should take a step back and have a reevaluation of where you are in the fandom. If you're just having fun and just so happen to get up and up and up with follows, then well, I don't. You. I don't know where I am in all of it. I don't think I'm anybody. I'm definitely nobody. Um, but maybe you should remember whatever you say, however you thought before, and maybe if one day you are, mm-hmm. 
you'll have a different perspective on it. I just hope if we do end up in the 10 plus thousand wherever range of okay. that's considered poppy for, I just hope it doesn't change. It us. is what it is, you know, if it does, it does. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Hopefully a lot of people enjoy what we do. Mm -hmm. They see our streams, they come in there and have fun, behave mm -hmm. and have fun. We try to be open to everyone. We try to be positive. We try to encourage others and have open arms but even for us there's a limit and have people just kind of enjoy what i do mm. like with the videos and then what we do with the art yeah what we do with the studio where we go out things like that it's uh just like the setup here to even do videos like this uh do con videos it takes a lot of work mm -hmm. so i would definitely like the popularity to have more people enjoy that stuff yeah so that's really um, how i feel about it all i mean yeah i would say I wouldn't mind having some popularity, but just to help us build stuff and get stuff out and have more reach to just do what we're doing. You know, I just say in the end, uh, life is short. Your life is kind of tiny and make what you will everything of it. in the world, all the universe, we're tiny. Furry popularity is very tiny, even uh -huh. if you're very well known. So just we should probably all not let it get to our head. Mm. Just do what you love, and if it gets you some yeah. following, then great. Just have fun with it. If it if you're starting off and you feel discouraged, do it because it's fun. And uh, don't take it personally either way. Mm -hmm. Somebody may have that type of attitude. Maybe the others don't. Don't assume. Maybe they're just real busy. Uh, maybe other ones do have that type of attitude. You'll yeah. never know. Yeah, that's why if you feel sad that your former friend, if you feel it's the former friend, isn't talking to you, don't feel discouraged. Don't assume. Just yeah. give them space and just do your own thing. There's and if they're your true friend, then when they're ready, they'll be your friend. There's enough negative negativity and rudeness in the world. Might as well not add to it all, right? No. But yeah, that's all I have to and say. If your friends should change is over popularity. Are they really your friend to yeah. begin with? Look back on it and think about it. Pick your friends wisely. Yep. Yeah, that's that's about it. How do you feel? I think we did good. All good? I think so. Yeah. Time to end? Yep. Okay. Yeah. I think that's it for the podcast. Mm -hmm. And to reiterate from the first podcast of the intro, we are taking art commissions. I developed a pride themed badge. Feel free to talk to one of us if you're interested. He is such a business cat. <laughs> <laughs> That's how you get your stuff out there. Yeah. Instagram, Telegram, Twitter, yeah. search Symphonia Studio and get yourself one of these. We'll have the links at the end. It'll be fun. Okay. Good idea. Yep. That's about it for this week. All right. Bye. It was a fun podcast, though. <laughs>